Alright, cheers everybody and welcome back to Instant Screaming. Now, horror TV is a thing that I have been thus far more or less ignoring on this show, but it does exist and, uh, I should cover some of that, so uh, let's check some out today. To do that, we have Penny Dreadful and Slasher, both available on Netflix. Now, while Penny Dreadful is generally about the various adventures of Sir Malcolm Murray and uh, psychic medium Vanessa Ives, it does boast a supporting cast of several Victorian-era fictional creatures, including Victor Frankenstein and his creature, and uh, Dorian Gray, among many others. Now, with the possible alternate title, at least for the first season, being Dorian Gray Has Sex With Everyone. Now, for the sake of honesty, I will say that I've only actually seen the first season of Penny Dreadful, but I really did enjoy it. For a full season of television, it goes by pretty quickly, and the multiple plots that they're juggling keep things moving along at a pretty good pace, without seeming overly complicated, which you can do when you have too many side stories. It's got some pretty good atmosphere throughout, and it does hit a lot of uh, nice and varied moods. And the action adventure in the series is uh, all pretty satisfying. You can't speak too much to where the series went after the first season, but that one at least was a lot of fun. If I had to pick out some negatives, uh, there was a tendency to kind of get uh, slow down and get a bit too overdramatic at times when I would have preferred uh, to keep up the brisker pace. And also some storylines felt like they were a bit dragged along, uh, particularly the mystery reveal surrounding one of the characters that was saved, I think, for like the last few minutes of the last episode. If memory serves, even after they resolved the season's overarching plot, they kept going for another couple minutes and I forgot that they hadn't actually dealt with this guy. Uh, but that's really a minor gripe. Right? Now moving along to the second series, we have Slasher, which is actually only one season long. Um, it's similar to a, a mystery series like Harper's Island or an anthology series like uh, American Horror Story, where each season has, is a distinct story and uh, the entire season is one self-contained story. So uh, in Slasher, Sarah Bennett returns to her hometown and moves into the house where her parents were killed some decades earlier. Coincidentally, as soon as she moves back, a series of copycat murders of people in the town start up. Mystery time. Very, very similar setup as Harper's Island, where a woman moves back to her hometown, but Slasher is much more aggressive. I think by virtue of being produced for a horror network like Chiller, the series is packed with way more visceral gore and mature themes than Harper's Island. And for the most part, it makes for a much more interesting watch. I actually tuned out of Harper's Island a little bit after the midpoint, where it began to feel like the story was kind of, uh, you know, chasing its own tail in an effort to stretch things out and give the killer more of a time to, uh, to increase its body count. So while this series had its own similar slump a bit after the midpoint, it had much more interesting stuff going on, so it was better able to keep my attention. Now, I wasn't entirely thrilled by the actual conclusion of the mystery because they went too far into the killer's motivation and backstory than I would have wanted. I would have preferred if they kept some mystery to the killer and didn't go into their entire childhood and background and why they kill. But that's really only the last episode or last couple of episodes. Aside from that, it's all pretty solid. I'd definitely go for it. The show opens a hell of a bag. Anyway, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for checking out some Instant Screaming. If you have seen either of these shows and want to talk about them, please leave a comment below. If you have any other shows that you want to see on this show or on Modern Horror, uh, also leave that in the comment below. And uh, happy watching. Cheers, folks.